Howdy folks, this is Manic Mark, your real fake outsider artist coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And today I'm coming to you with a new feature. Well, first of all, happy holidays. And you're probably wondering why this is like a hockey mask and why would you be wearing a hockey mask? It's kind of frightening, a hockey mask on the holidays, don't you think? Well, it's actually a protection mechanism. I'm protecting myself against my new feature today. And the new feature is Manic, Mar Manic Mark's Most Horrible Record Ever Award for today. And that would be 20, 22, 12, 12, 17, 2009. Most Horrible Record of, I would say of the year. It's probably going to be of the year because I don't think I can find another record more horrible than this. Uh, but when I give out this award, it's just going to be, it's going to be dated so I could give out more than one during the year. And I don't, I, you know, this is going to be a very rare thing um, because when I do a record, you know, I take a record and it's usually a private press oddball sort of thing and there's value to it. Intrinsic value that goes beyond what some people would call, you know, just a horrible piece of art. <laughs> and usually I like, there's something about what I'm talking about that I like, so I don't hate these records. Um, I make up stories about what could have happened to have led up to the creation of the record, some behind the scenes things going on. So I, I take liberties. Well, I take great liberties. <laughs> I try to find out something about the record, so there's some history behind it too. Um, but I make up these little fantasies. So, But in this case, like for instance, like the Partridge family, the Brady Bunch, they've got records out, right? And would you say they're horrible? Well, some people would, would have like just like sent you to a mental hospital at some point in their life if you had said you like those records and I, I'm I'm just I would be ready for that but um, I, I'd say no they're probably not horrible in fact the more years um, that the albums um, uh, you know, the more dust and more cobwebs and more years down the road they're gonna be oddball and wonderful I'm sure they're all gonna be they're gonna have the, a flavor that all to their own and so I, I can't say that there, there's some people that are going to like them just for what they are and some people that are not. So, but in this case, um, so that, like, t t the, pro the problem is, is that anything, any record you pick, probably even this one, just because somebody's just going to be arbitrary. <laughs> any, any record you pick, somebody's going to say, well, no, you're wrong. That's not horrible. But I think in this case, 99% of us and the other one arbitrary, sarcastic percent, <laughs> even they... <laughs> We'll have to admit that Manning Mark has found probably, probably the, the maybe and maybe the most horrible LP ever produced on the face of the earth in all the history of, of, of mankind and perhaps space aliens too. I could just include other races of beings and their recorded music in with this um, award I'm presenting today. And the award goes to this, and I got to set this up. I got this record at Goodwill just yesterday. And it came from Germany. In fact, some, it was bought and purchased in Germany because it's got uh, Deutschmark price stickers on it. So how it ended up in the, the bin, the record bin at Goodwill, I have no idea. And another thing that should have alerted me to it being horrible is that the, the records, I th don't think, have been played very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously a reason for that. You will, you will hear it. So I'm going to show you the cover. And not only is this just the most horrible record, the whole record, all the tracks have to be horrible. The cover has to be horrible. It has to be horrible just all the way around. And how hard? It's got to be really hard to find examples of that. <laughs> but look, this is the most horrible duck drawing I've ever seen. The LP is weird in that it came from Germany, and some of the some of the song titles are written in German. Some of them are in English, and the titles written in English. I it's it's a very weird. It's it's printed on typing paper. <laughs> it's a very flimsy cardboard cover. And again, look at the drawing. That is the most horrible drawing of a duck I've ever seen. So first, so the cover's horrible. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm playing the title track, which is Happy Sunrise, which is kind of a horrible title. 
but every song on this LP sounds exactly like the title track. It's the same, but I have to qualify that because by the time I got to the end of the first side, the record was starting to mind melt with me and it really frightened me. So it was best, I thought, for my own mental health not to actually listen to side two. But every track on the first side is exactly, it's almost like the same thing with a few notes changed around. The same rhythm, oh, it's just, it's awful. So with that in mind, I'm gonna play Happy Sunrise, yay. I'm gonna put up my painting and we'll listen to it. Um, so the, actually I'll give you a countdown, I'll give you a visual countdown so that you'll have you know, a moment to, to click the mute button, you know, on your computer, uh, to go to another room, uh, to do something to protect yourself. Because this is a disclaimer, folks, that this is going to ch change your life and not for the better. It, it could, you know, if it's, it's winter, it's gray, it's cold, the holidays are here. Many of us are fighting to get through the holidays without having a mental breakdown. And this could be actually what pushes you over the edge. Yeah, I'm serious about that. So my painting, I'm just going to describe that. So when you're listening to this, this song and having a mental breakdown, you could be looking at my painting, and perhaps my painting will prevent that. So what I figured happened to Happy Duck here is that he, after this LP, it was, he was so, he had to do something that was so completely different because of the mental state that he was in having done this, this record that he got into some kind of nihilistic, uh, punk cult in Germany, um, bondage punk leather cult in Germany, and and it, it was he did that in an effort to cleanse his soul, and so basically the painting is lucky little bird, it's the awards painting basically, but my story is is that Lucky Duck had to do something in his life to com so so completely drastically different than 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 his appearance on the cover of Lucky Little Bird that that's what he became for a short while. I, I think he's probably recovered from it at this point, but who knows, this could, this could damage one for life. So anyway, thanks folks, and I, <laughs> happy holidays, and I hope you're no more afraid now than when you click the clicky thing.